As Craig mentioned, one reason the launch was scrubbed two months ago was because of a hydrogen leak in a propellant tank. Research to keep that kind of problem from hampering future missions is now underway at the University of Central Florida, where fire meets the space age. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is here to explain what that means, Evan, and what's going on there. I'm going to try. Space travel requires lots of heat and lots of cold. We spoke with young scientists who are using heat to find the best materials to stop the unpredictable. Stopping a 300-foot rocket from failing happens inch by inch. It feels good to be hands-on. Square by square. So now we have our layers. Um, we can assemble them into our panel now. And degree by degree. And what we're left with is a ceramic matrix and a ceramic composite able to withstand um, some really high temperatures. They hope. This is one of the mechanical and aerospace engineering labs at UCF. It's run by Dr. Jan Go. <laughs> this is a big project I have ever had before. He's guiding a team of students who are trying to figure out how to stop a hydrogen leak, like the one that grounded Artemis on September 3rd and cost the mission two months. You're here for science. You know, you're here to, to learn. You're here to um, find out new things that you didn't know before to apply the knowledge that you have to discover something new. We watched as they cured a composite tile, similar to what would be used on a space rocket by subjecting it to pressure 17 times higher than sea level okay. and 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, then it goes under acetylene and 6,000 degrees. They're traditionally used for cutting steel. Heated up to a temperature that's similar to what it would see in a hydrogen combustion turbine. So essentially we're measuring how much um, heat gets through the sample into the back. The less heat that gets through, the better the sample is working and the closer they are to stopping leaks that can scrub a mission that has worldwide attention. This is uh, very, very good research that has the potential to really advance society and potentially save lives. Today, the experiments went as planned. You can see that the material that was exposed to the high heat looks a lot like what they started with. The lab recently won a grant from the Department of Energy that will allow them to use this technology to study not just rocket science, but the future of hydrogen power. Hydrogen fuel is pretty much the future. It's, it's uh, clean, you know, the only emissions are just water. So it's a very important fuel to be researching. Um, these turbines are very important also, you know, for aerospace, but also for, you know, powering our homes, for powering our vehicles. Including ones that are headed back to the moon. Seeing super slow-mo HD video shows how every detail on ships with millions of parts are the difference between success and failure. We all kind of have that uh, shared drive to learn new things and uh, continue to progress not only uh, our own personal knowledge, but uh, you know the knowledge of society and uh, current developments. Their findings won't be on the next launch, but sometime soon, you might look up in the sky at the big bird and know what started as a lab fire in Orlando might end up on the moon. Along with UCF, the University of Miami is involved as they work to test very high temperature ceramics that can be used to coat the inner portion of the chambers that contain the hydrogen. This is expected to be a two-year project. Chris, incredible, all right there. <laughs> yeah, it's, in, it's incredible work, and what an incredible opportunity for these yeah. young scientists right here in Florida to have a, make a difference and learn how to make a difference in our future. You know, what, what could be cooler than that, right? Uh, not, not much. <laughs> uh, pretty neat. Except the you, hydrogen is cooler. You got to hold a uh, part of the uh, experiment there too. That's uh, you must have gotten some credentials while you were there at UCF. <laughs> I I tried to learn <laughs> at least something. That, that's our mission with every story, right? Come away a little smarter. All right, good stuff. Thank you, Evan.